students. Hope you all are fine. Well, this is your science class. And today we are going to learn about a beautiful creature. What is that? First, you have to tell me a creature which has a streamlined body, has a long tail, very low weight, okay? And uh, some wear a crown and uh, they, have a, they are unique in their food habit and uh, their looks. Which one is that? Yes, that is birds. Today we are going to learn about birds and their food. We are going to learn about birds and their food. Well, what we are going to learn about that? We are going to learn about their feeders, their beaks, their feet and claws. And today we will learn about different types and many types of birds. Very important thing that the first thing which is very important in birds are their feeders. Yes. So first of all, we will talk about their feeders. Dear students, birds have three types of feeders. Down feeders, body feeders and flight feeders. We have only three types of feeders. Down feeders, flight feeders and body feeders. What do they do? Okay, number one is down feeders. They are small and very fluffy. Okay, and they also cover the bird's body and keep it warm. Always the down feeder always keep on the bird's body. Well, if I talk about flight feeder, you know what is that? Flight feeder are always long and sturdy. Long and sturdy and they are attached with wings and tail bone. By that they are easy, that is easy to fly them and they help bird to fly easily. Yes, that's why they are called flight feeders. Well, if I talk about body feeders, so they only give shape and color to the bird. We have three types of feeders, down feeders, flight feeders and body feeders. Well, again I am telling you down feeders, keep it warm, keep the bird warm and flight feeders help to fly and body feeders always shape and color to the bird. Well, your chapter is available on page number 34 and I am going to show you that the pictures of these three types of feeders. Open your page number 34, the chapter is available also on the same page. On page number 34, you will see the last pictures, the last three pictures. These last three pictures are here. Number one is down feathers. Can you see that? Yes, I am. I was talking about these feathers that these are very fluffy and small in size. And they cover the bird and keep it warm. And the next one is body feathers. These are called body feathers. They give the shape and color the bird. Yes, by that birds are always look like beautiful. My dear students, birds are animals that can fly. So for flying, they need their feathers. Fly feathers is very important. Fly feathers are very important to fly. They help the bird to fly. They are long and sturdy. You can see them. If you have seen any birds, so you will see that always a crow are very common in our areas. That it has fly feathers and they are attached always with the wings and tail bone. Have you got? We have learned about body feeders now. We are going to learn. We are going to learn the next topic is our the beaks. And we have types of beaks here. And we have seven types of beaks. What are these? Number one, strong, sharp and curved beak. Which one is that? Strong, sharp and curved beak. What does it do? It helps to, they have to tear flesh. These type of beaks help to tear the flesh. Okay? And mostly eagle and vulture have these type of beaks. Got it? Now, number two is short, hard and 
hurdle beaks. They help to pick and crush the seeds and grain. Mostly pigeon and sparrow, these birds are very common. So we have seen that these type of birds have short, hard and hardy beaks. Mostly these birds always eat grains and crush seeds. So they help to crush them, to pick them. Okay? If I talk about the next one, so the curved and hooked beaks. What is this? Curved and hooked beaks. They help to crack the seed. Mostly they have these type of beaks, mostly parrots have only. And many types of parrots are in the world, and the parrots have these types of beaks. Uh, you know very well that always the parrot eat cracked seeds. They have to crack seed and parrot eat mostly seeds. So that's why they have to do that. Okay. Number four. Long and slender beak. Long and slender beak is number four. Have to feed on the nectar. Okay guys, these type of beaks are long and just like a cylinder. You have seen the shape of a cylinder. These are just like and they have to Suck and help to uh, feed on the nectar of the flower. Okay? And uh, to pull out the insects from the hole in the ground. Mostly these types of birds get the insects from the holes. Okay? And in the ground. Or mostly you can see hoops and sunbird. They both are very common birds. They have these types of beaks. If I talk about the next one, the strong and chisel shaped beaks. What is this? These type of beaks, uh, birds make hole in the bark to pull out insects to eat. Okay? And woodpecker is very common bird to do that. A woodpecker is habitual to do that. It always just uh, make a hole in the bark. Okay? And uh, just pull out insects by uh, its beak. If I talk about the next one, so this is broad and short beak. Broad and short beak always uh, a swallow bats. You know what? Swallow is a flying bird and it always catch the insects during the flying. Okay? And the flying bird can also uh, catch the flying insects. So it helps to catch flying insects. These types of beaks. Short and broad. Okay? Short and broad beaks always use, uh, swallow use while it's flying. So it catch the flying insects only. Okay? At last. At last, we have broad and flat beak. Which one is that? Broad and uh, broad and flat beak. This type of beak mostly duck have. Ducks have this type of beak, and uh, you know what? Ducks uh, always uh, just uh, take rest and move into the muddy water. Okay. So these type of beaks have two holes on the sides. Okay, and uh, they help to catch uh, insects. Worms and water plants also. Always duck uh, just uh, eat like this and these type of beaks help them to catch plant water, worm and insects. We have learned about seven types of beaks of birds. We have many types of birds in the world. But according to their beaks, we have only seven types. Number one, strong, sharp and curved beaks. Short, hard and horny beaks, curved and hook beaks, long and slender beaks, strong and chisel shaped beaks, broad and short beak and broad and flat beak. Well, I am going to show you in your book. You can see your page number 35. We have many types of beaks are there. You can see vulture and eagle has short, strong, sharp and Curved beak. This type of beak is called sharp, strong, sharp and curved beak. Okay. That is the beak. Short, hard and horny. Okay. This is. This is curved and hooked. Okay. Well, if I talk about the next long and slender. I have talked about long and slender beak. It helps to feed on nectar of flowers. And to pull out insects from the hole in the ground. And this is sunbird. On the next page we have more types. This is woodpecker. It is habitual to, it is habitual to make hole in the bark. And uh, it has long and chisel shaped beak. 
This type of beak is called long and chisel beak. Have you got? Now the next is short and broad beak. You can see this is the bird which I was talking about. This is swallow. And swallow is habitual to catch the insects during flying. Okay. And the next is broad and flat beak. Broad and flat beak. This is the bird and always birds have these type of beak. They have holes. You can see here they have two holes on the sides. And uh, the duck takes in the muddy water containing insects, worm and water plants. Have you got about these beaks? We have an exercise on the same page, page number 36. On page number 36, we have an exercise. This is an activity. Okay, they have been shown some types of beaks and you have to recognize that which type of bird is this. This is the sunbird. It is pigeon, parrot, eagle and duck. Well, today we have learned First we have learned about birds feathers and now we are learning the beaks of birds. We have learned many types of birds and their beaks. Now we are going to learn about their feet and their claws. Well, feet and claws are very important part of any bird. We have six types of claws and feet according to we have six types of birds, uh, birds, feet and claws. Well, my dear student, birds have two legs. Always they have two legs and two feet. They use their feet to move anywhere. Mostly they fly, they are habitual to fly, but if they want to move anywhere, so they use their feet. And you know what? The claws of the birds always tell us about their living habits. Where do they live? We can uh, just uh, think about their claws of any bird. Just like we have perching birds. Perching birds uh, have three toes and uh, they help to hold the branch. Mostly they help to hold the branch. They are perching birds. Mostly sparrow have these types of uh, claws and these types of uh, bird. They are perching bird and they have these types of claws. They can only be, you know what? During the perching, they even sleep. Yes, you can see many times that uh, mostly sparrows are uh, sleep uh, on the branch of any tree. Okay. The next is scratching birds. My dear students, many times you have seen that hen. Hen is a we hen is very common bird and it is available mostly at our homes. So hen is habitual to scratch. Okay. It is habitual to scratch. Mostly uh, the bullet seeds. If they are habitual to eat the bullet seed, they help to scratch the ground. These types of claws and the feet are help to scratch the ground and catch insects by them. Okay? Well, if I talk about swimming birds, you know guys, swimming birds are the help with these type of claws and feet are help to push back the water while swimming. Mostly duck have Mostly ducks have these types of claws and feet. And you know what? These are called wedding, uh, wedding feet. They withdraw the wedding. They do, they do habitual to use like that. Okay? They have webbed feet. They are webbed feet and they use for swimming. If I talk about number four, the wedding birds. What are wedding birds? Wedding birds, they wet through muddy water. You know, cran. Cran is a bird. Which is habitual to just move in the muddy water. Okay, so it has. To, they are called wedding birds. Number five, we have flesh eating birds. Yes, flesh eating birds. You know what? They are habitual to grip small animals. Okay, flesh eating birds are mostly habitual to pick and catch small animals like rat. Okay. And the birds are very common eagle. Eagle always is habitual to catch and grip small animals to eat. Okay. Well, if I talk about the last one, this is number six, climbing birds. Climbing birds are, they have to climb. They have the feet and claws and these type of feet and claws they have, those will help to climb and clean the trees. Mostly woodpecker has. If the woodpecker has some uh, such kind of uh, feet and claws, they have, they have a tool to uh, climb and cling on the trees. Well, we have 
Page number 38. There are many types of flaws. You can see here. Here we have page number 38. We have there are six, five types of uh, clause and feeds here. You have to recognize, okay? And you have to write their name like me. Number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Number one is hen, duck, eagle, sparrow, and woodpecker. This is your activity. Let's come to the homework. This is your book work, my dear students. Now, exercise B, name two birds and each types. What are swimming birds? Duck and swan. Wading birds? Crown and heron. Climbing birds? Woodpecker and parakeet. Flesh eating birds are eagle and owl. Fill in the blanks. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have only 6 blanks and we, you have to fill them all. Hope you have got about your homework. Well, my dear students, today we have learned about uh, today we have learned about uh, birds and their feet, food habits, okay, birds and then we have learned about uh, food, uh, their food, okay, and you know guys, we have learned about book work and uh, our copy work is available on portal, so you must have to complete, you must complete your copy work with pencil, okay, complete your book work and copy work uh, with pencil and you know guys, we have learned about birds and their feet and claws, of their feeders and their different types of beaks. Hope you have got about and you have enjoyed today's class.